Hi, everybody. Josh Byerly here inside Mission Control. I'm joined by Courtney McMillan, the NASA flight director who is in charge not only today, but as we've been talking about during our entire broadcast, she and her team started back almost three years ago, back in 2010, right? And That's started, right. Started doing Sims in 2011. So today's been incredibly smooth. Let's, let's talk about how it went. I mean, it's kind of shockingly smooth. These, you know, these are test flights, of course. You kind of expect things to pop up, but it's been pretty remarkable. Today went really, really smoothly. It looks like we had most of our challenges in the previous week. Yeah. Um, we did have, uh, we ran into some challenges on our first rendezvous attempt a week ago. Uh, and so most of the past week has been trying to work uh, not just the challenges we saw that day, but also the challenge the next day um, with the with the processor issues that mm -hmm. we were seeing on, on Cygnus. Those all got resolved, and so today we showed, uh, we did a GPS demonstration early on in the day, just a test uh, to make sure that the patch that we loaded to fix the problem uh, that we found on rendezvous day was gonna work, yeah. and it worked great. Um, that test, they passed with flying colors, um, and so came into the beginning of the rendezvous shift knowing that that was going to work mm -hmm. uh, and it did and then the rest of the objectives for the day went very very smoothly let's talk about, we're looking at the objectives now that these 10 were checked off pretty fast today I mean numbers three through ten were all done pretty rapidly because like we talked about before you know the actual birthing in the installation is not part of the objectives I mean it's it's obviously a great to have and we're going to get there but but the actual full objectives for cots were done well so it, there's a difference between the mission objectives and those demonstration objectives right. the demonstration objectives are to prove safety in the rendezvous process mm -hmm. however the the birthing the, the actual capture and the birthing are in fact objectives in the Space Act agreement right. and for the mission so uh, they're not demonstration objectives in that they're not providing a separate data package right. for those um, and they don't have separate criteria. Either you either you captured or you didn't, right? <laughs> either you birth or you don't. Um, but for all the rendezvous objectives, the goal really is to prove the safety of the vehicle function yeah. um, and making sure that they're going to do the, do the right thing when they're approaching the station. So yeah. they, they did perfectly on all those objectives. It went really, really smoothly. Um, we had re rehearsed that multiple times in joint simulations over the course, especially of the last year, year and a half. Um, and uh, they have gotten very good at getting that data gathered and getting it packaged up pretty quickly so we can look at it in a timely manner. And they absolutely nailed it today. They did a great job. Talk about the relationship between you guys and your team here and the orbital team that's up there in Dulles. I mean, you, you've become almost like family over the last you know, year and a half, two years. You've practiced these simulations. Talk a bit about the dynamics uh, you know, leading up to today and also today as well. The, the teams work together really well. So, and don't forget, we also have uh, a team out at SIPSI in Scuba, JAXA, Japan, right, Japan. Um, that are also supporting this. They're operating the radios and the and the GPS um, on board mm -hmm. ISS that Cygnus uses in the rendezvous process. So the three teams together have, have really uh, become one in many ways. Um, and I think it's, uh, you know, today a large part of why we did so well getting through all the objectives and getting through a very complicated timeline is the fact that we had uh, been able to work together as long as we have. Yeah. Yeah, there's the there's the orbital team there. There was quite a bit of celebration once uh, Cygnus got captured earlier today. Quite a bit of applause. Of course, you've got uh, Charlie Bolin, our administrator there, Bill Gerstemeyer, who's our head of uh, human exploration operations up there as well. Alan Lindemoyer is there. We're going to be hearing from him and Frank Culberson later on. But um, you know, it's just I mean, it's just a great day for both these teams, both here in Houston and you and uh, Orbital as well. Well, it's really exciting to see Orbital join the human spaceflight uh, program at NASA yeah. uh, with this with this vehicle, and we're very excited to have them on station and a, a part of our team. Yeah, well, Courtney, we'll let you go home and get some rest. I know it's been kind of a busy morning, busy actually last several weeks for you and your yeah. team, and it's uh, you know it's, it's just a success all the way around so far. It's been great. Um, again, the the teams have done an amazing amount of work over the last, especially over the last week since uh, since our first rendezvous attempt, um, and the five days prior to that after after Cygnus launch. It's just been fantastic to see how professionally and uh, smoothly and steadily everybody has been willing to work to get through the challenges that we faced, and and we made. It. Well, thanks a lot, Courtney. We'll stick around and watch uh, installation take place here shortly. So uh, thanks again, and, uh, and go get some rest. All right. <laughs> Thank you.